time. Four. Nergasm. Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here, AKA Barnacles. And YouTube hasn't been paying so well, so I decided to get into the landscaping business. Yeah, so stay tuned. All right guys, so in all honesty, I'm not really getting into landscaping, but what I am doing is mowing my friend's lawn in return for him loaning me his P85D Tesla, and I figure it's completely a fair trade. So right here before me, I have a ton of things from a company called Ego. Everything you see here in the landscaping genre is powered by a battery pack, which we have a plethora of, and this guy right here is gonna be the crown jewel of the video, which is actually a very powerful lawnmower that just runs on a battery, completely cordless, and it works remarkably well. So let's go ahead and get this stuff out and have a little fun. All right, guys, well, my favorite thing out of the entire lineup is, of course, the lawnmower. It's the thing that I use the most. Now, this lawnmower actually uh, can use the small battery or the big battery, but I'd recommend using the big battery in it because this thing does have a lot of torque and uses a lot of power, but I can get through my whole yard on one charge. So now I'm going to try to get through my buddy's whole yard and one charge. And this guy right here, let me show you some of the features of it. It's actually very, very lightweight. I can pick up the whole mower. I can probably almost pick it up over my head. And I'm a nerd, and I just did that, yeah. So this guy right here, you can set it up in a bagging configuration, you can set it in a bagless configuration that does mulching, or you can do a side discharge. It comes with all the adapters to do it. Uh, a lot of the stuff on it's aluminum. The underside bell is made out of uh, like a steel, like a coated steel. Everything on it is very, very corrosion resistant, except for one thing, right here. Mine looks like new, uh, but only because uh, put WD-40 on it. Because if you don't put WD-40 on this thing, it actually will get some rust just from the moisture in the air. But everything else on it, not a problem. So just interesting thing, if you get this and you don't want a little bit of rust on that decorative piece, just put some WD-40 on it, it's not a problem. Now, the mower also has headlights right here that you can see on the front. I thought that was kind of gimmicky because who mows their lawn at night, but hey, I'm not above it. It seems like something I might want to try. Uh, the level adjustment for the height is very, very easy to use and it operates all four wheels just with one simple shifter. Love that, absolutely love that. You can also adjust the handle to two different heights just by pulling this little spring-loaded operator depending on how tall you are. And it shows you a charge indicator light right here, and it's also a load indicator. So if you're mowing and you get into stuff that's too thick and it bogs it down, it'll let you know. So you can control how fast you move and everything like that so you don't bind up the mower. But other than that, the thing is dead simple to use, and you never have to deal with gasoline again. And for me, that's the biggest part. I had a gas mower. Every single winter I pulled it out, I had to pull the whole carburetor apart and clean out the needle valve and the gum and everything like that. With this, I just throw a battery on the charger for 30 minutes and I'm good to go. Okay, so we're gonna start out on level four because this lawn actually has gotten pretty long and to start up the mower, all you do is you push down the safety key and pull the handle. Now, as you can tell, the mower is actually really, really quiet compared to a gas mower. Very, very easy to push too. It's very lightweight. You don't need a motor assist like you do on some of the larger gas mowers. So realistically, now I know why they put a light on the thing because you could mow at light night and not piss off your neighbors. Now the grass is wet and it doesn't seem to be having a problem with it at all. Jeez, you borrow a guy's supercar once and you gotta mow his lawn. All right, so here we have the chainsaw, guys, and we're gonna use this chainsaw to cut down this big old holly tree behind me. And this is gonna be fun because I've never really cut down a tree before. And don't worry, I got safety glasses on. I'm sure that's all that, all that really matters. So all of these different pieces of equipment take two different types of batteries, and there's even a third capacity battery on the way, and they fit onto everything in the line. And the really nice thing about these batteries, they charge super quick, and they've got an indicator button that you can click that shows the level of charge on it. And as you discharge it, that color will change between yellow and red. Now there's also two different types of chargers, and the chargers work on all the batteries, uh, except for this is the turbo charger. This thing right here can fully charge the large capacity battery in about 30 minutes. Now this guy over here takes about an hour to charge that same battery. So just depending on what you wanna get, what your timing is, but this thing is absolutely awesome. If you need to just chuck a battery on, go and have a drink, have a wee, and get back to mowing. All right, guys, let's cut her down. Yeah. Yeah! 
All right, guys, well, that was a lot easier than I thought. I really, really like this chainsaw. I had a lot more torque than I thought it would for a battery powered chainsaw. To be honest, it felt like it even had more torque than the corded saws that I've used before for like limbing trees. I mean, I took down this magnificent beast with it. Uh, it's very lightweight, even with the battery pack. Really like it, seems really sturdy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, there's not much to complain about on this. The only thing is I had one snag on it, but it automatically stopped itself, so I wasn't putting extraneous strain on the motor or the battery pack, which I'd expect. But uh, definitely something I like. Didn't even need hearing protection or anything. So huge thumbs up on the chainsaw. <laughs> like a knife through butter. Dude, this thing's baller. All right guys, so the next thing we're gonna review here is the leaf blower. Now I took the same exact battery that we used on the chainsaw, because we're gonna try to use it as long as we can during this review to see how long it takes to run it dead. We also mounted a GoPro on the tip for your enjoyment. It's got a pretty good amount of blow to it, but it also has a turbo button that gives it a really, really good kick. Here's normal mode. See, so Adam gets free yard work and I get to make a video. Win-win. All right, well, we've done a couple of passes now, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look in the bag and see what we got. So this just flips forward. I really like that. That is a cool feature. Just flip this up and grab that, shake it down, and we got a pretty good load there. We're gonna go ahead and dump it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bag now and put the mulching attachment on it because we're not really putting this thing under any strain, so pff, why not? So just pull the bag off. Oh, doo doo butter. Oh, all right. Now we gotta shove this sucker in there, I think. Ladies. Yeah, ah, ah, you wanna shove it in there really good. Ah. Let her rev up. All right, here we go. So now instead of going in the bag, it's shredding the grass up into mulch. Uh, which is how I usually mow my lawn, uh, just because I'm too lazy to empty the bag all the time. But uh, depending on the type of grass you have and how wet it is, I mean, you can make your own call. It even has a side discharge attachment, which we'll show you shortly. So it turns out this thing actually isn't very good at mulching when the grass is wet. It pretty much just creates these cakes. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is switch over to the side discharge. But it's nice that you have all the options and if the grass is dry, it's gonna do a good job. But if it's wet, I'm gonna say probably a no-op. Tastes like dog poop. All right, so we're actually still using the same battery that we used from the head trimmers, the blower, and the chainsaw on this guy. And we're still showing an indication of green, so it's nowhere even near dead. And uh, this weed eater right here, very, very easy to, to, to break apart and put back together. Although I do have one small complaint that they used actual screws instead of finger nuts to put it together. So it makes it hard to break down without having an Allen key. But aside from that, it works really good. Just like all the other tools, it has a safety. You pull the trigger and you're in business. And surprisingly, it's pretty powerful. It's actually not loud at all, but it is powerful. All right, so now we're on to the hedge trimmer, still using that original battery we just pulled out of the leaf blower. I think I did a beautiful job personally, but yeah, this thing's actually really, really easy to use. Build quality, just like everything else. It feels solid. You shake it around, doesn't feel like a bunch of parts are falling off it. So I mean, you can't really ask for much more than that. And the battery is still in the green. 
All right, so here's the side discharge attachment. Just like with the mulching attachment, just go ahead and yank her out of there. Take this one and it uh, looks like it goes on like so. That looks like it's in the ballpark. Flip the handle back. We ready for some side discharge action. just finished mowing the Royal Adams lawn while he sat there and drank his beer. Yeah, Adam. Yeah, look at it. Yeah. Actually, this is about 8,000 square foot of lawn. We actually just mowed it, no problem, no battery life indications. If I lift the panel, the battery is still showing green. So we could probably mow a whole nother yard this big again. I mean, this is actually pretty impressive. And we did some of it mulching, we did some of it with the bag, and we did some of it with the side discharge. Now, if I had to be honest, the only complaints that I have about the mower is that the mulching attachment doesn't work good on wet grass. But to be honest, unless you have like a seven plus horsepower motor, you're really not gonna be tearing up that really sticky media. So you do have to clean the thing out. And other than the slight uh, rust problem that can occur on that one little piece of trim, the thing is actually fantastic. Fantastic. It works as advertised, if not better. The batteries are absolutely bulletproof and very, very easy to charge. So I would say I highly recommend this mower to anybody. And if you're mowing a huge yard, just get a couple extra batteries. They only take like 30 minutes to charge. And now I have to clean it. So one of my absolute favorite things about this is that it fits into my Subaru STI's trunk, which actually isn't the biggest trunk on earth. But the bad news is I have to clean it before I stick it back in there. So here we go. Yeah, that happened. All right, guys, well, that about wraps it up. That's how you get a YouTuber to come over and mow your lawn. Now, I actually had a lot of fun doing this. These are really cool things. I'm glad the Ego sent me over the mower and a couple of items, and I'm glad that my friend Adam had the other things like the chainsaw so that we could review it all together. And I'd have to say I am thoroughly impressed with how much power and performance you get out of battery right now. I mean, we just mowed an 8,000 square foot lawn, and he told me he can do that twice on a battery and still have power left. So I am impressed with how everything works, and if I wanted to be nitpicky, the only cons that I would say is like on the weed eater and the mower, when you start them up, there is a delay for it to come up to speed. And, and it's not a huge significant delay. It's a couple of seconds. And if you just keep it going, like I did mowing the whole lawn, it's not a problem, but it's something that you do definitely notice. But for the most part, I absolutely love this stuff. I think it's a great alternative to gasoline. No more having to pull out my mower every year and clean out the carburetor. No more having to go down the store and buy gas because I don't have anything sitting around and no more borrowing gas from the neighbor that turns out to be varnished and clogs everything up. All right, well, if you guys want to buy these things, I'll have links to them down in the video description so you can go and pick them up yourself. And if you have any other questions, you know where to leave them down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video or any of my other videos that I created, please give me a like, hit that subscribe button, show me some love, and I'll just keep on getting dirty for you. All right, take it easy, guys. Till next time. And Adam is a wonderful cameraman. Seriously, you are. Love you long time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. Also come over to Twitter. I'm at Barnacles. I'm a real social guy. Also, if you have a couple of minutes, check out some of these many other videos. I made them myself.